This guy likes sports cards too. Don't let him trick you. He does. He's I don't. I hate. I hate. No. I would probably not hate sports cards. I get bad like daddy. But right now you just like Pokemon cards, right? Yeah. What's up, everybody? It's just Daddy here today, and we're gonna do something really cool. Well, nope. he's always here. He'll never stop being here because he's the coolest. But um, with the sports card thing going on, Target stopped selling sports cards, which is crazy. Um, we're gonna do a little comparison for those rack packs that are out there because I know they're expensive. I know people are overcharging for them. So, might as well show you what you can get, right? You know? So, I've got one Hello. of the jumbo packs. Hello, I'm behind that. I've got a <laughs> mini me behind me, but we got one of the jumbo packs of the Donruss, and we've got one of the 15 card like cello pack deals that they did with Prism. So we're gonna open each one of these, see which one's the best, man, and then we'll check it out, see what they're selling for on eBay, cause it's like, gotta know what they're worth, right? Um, and if you haven't already checked it out, go check out our video for the boys toy reviews where we do reviews on the toys that you can get right down the road. Yep, and, and we did Blippy yesterday. Yeah, was yeah it Blippy? don't miss our shoulder because that was a really good one. It was a really good one. No, it always is. So we had Blippy toys yesterday by Jazzwares and we've got some fun stuff planned for next week too. But today we're going to open some sports cards. So check it out. All right, guys, we'll get this bad boy started with the Donruss, which is some fun stuff. You can get in here. Let's take a look, see some of the cool stuff that's selling on eBay right now. All right, as we scroll through eBay here, you see we always look at the sold completed listings because really and honestly, that's going to tell us everything. Uh, I know those Marvel ones we just saw, Trey Young are looking good. Um, you see some lower stuff too, of course, there. Um, look around. There's autos though. It looks like we're getting some sales around, you know, 100, you know, 200, but... The rack packs are selling for five or six dollars typically, but on the second market they were crazy before. Um, never had that problem, and then all of a sudden, boom, here it comes. I'm gonna charge you guys crazy. So, looks like there's some good resale value in this stuff. All right, let's check it out. we got there good old Blake Griffin all right guys sorry about that let's get this back going had a little technical difficulties all right so I got a Ricky Rubio there Terrence Ross Christoph Porzingis, Hassan Whiteside, bunch of basic, Duncan Robinson. What else we got here? DeAndre Hunter, Wahoo Wah. We'll keep that to the side. What you think, Noah? You got Della Vendova. Um, I say because this one is my favorite. Bobby Portis, he was an old Chicago Bull. What happened to old him? Tyler Hero, Jeff Green. He switched teams. He's to the Knicks. I guess they're a winning team now. Who is the Knicks? The New York Knicks. Got old <laughs> Keldon Johnson from the Spurs. Hi, guys. I'm here now. All right, buddy. Jumping Brock dress, okay guys? All right. See you later. Ben Simmons is always nice. Got Zubak. Miles Bridges, he's played some ball. Kobe White hasn't done much of anything. Thanks for nothing, Kobe White. All right. Grant Williams, not hitting all much. Wiggins, you guys remember he was supposed to be the best thing since sliced bread? That's a ink. All right, maybe we'll get through it this time. Kevin Love. Lonzo Ball. That guy is still one of the best players I've ever seen college basketball. His assist game is, was disgusting. Gary Harris kind of disappeared. Franchise features. It's cool. We haven't had a Kyrie Irving yet. 
Oh, what do we got here? Is that Devin Vassell? Yeah, looks like our rookie is a Devin Vassell. I don't really even know how many you're supposed to get. That gold car looks cool, so I guess I'll set that down and see what it is in a second. Xavier Tillman. Desmond Bain. Emmanuel Quickly, rookie. Zeke Nanaji. Sadiq Bay, that dude won me some money on FanDuel this year. But none of the big name rookies, so they can prism even with 15 cards might have a better chance. Got the, of course, the Kyrie. That was pretty cool. Then a Ben Simmons right base. And then Devin Vassell. What you got here? Tyler Bay. Who's Ben Tillman? What side is he on? Ben Simmons. He's not on any side, but... He's on the one side. No. Oh. But yeah, we'll have to look and see about this gold thing and see how rare it is because it's not numbered, so... Good old Tyler Bay. All right, so see which one's going to be the better, better pickup. Thinking it might be Prism. Next up, we'll take a look at the Panini Prism. 12 cards a pack, and then, of course, you're going to have that little extra bonus pack with the red, white, and blue Prism. Everybody knows what you're looking for in here, guys. So let's see what we end up with here. Take a look on eBay and see what some of these are selling for. All right, all right. So we know Prism sells crazy in football, always has basketball as well. My problem always has been with Prism is sometimes you can – not have a pack that's really worth much or a box even when it first came out before hobby got crazy um, but as you can see going through ebay we look at the completed listings sold stuff um, it looks like it's selling pretty good still um, you get a tyrese halliburton bringing in 212 dollars is pretty crazy um, so you're looking for the autos but you can see that there's a lot of short port short prints and prisms that are selling that aren't the autos um, obviously the veteran players don't sell a lot with the younger people. Um, not like when I was growing up, but a lot of good stuff here. So let's check it out. See what we get. All right, guys. Next up, we got the prism. I remember last year, this stuff was a hot product. Obviously Zion, of course, was in it. Zion was having a pretty solid year with all the craziness with the injury. That thing's pretty thick. I guess it does have 12 cards, but still. All right, and then a Prism bonus pack. I don't really know how much these things are worth, so we'll check it out. Let's take a look on eBay right now. All right, we're back. The good old Gordon Hayward back in the Celtics uni still. Looks like an old school uniform pack. Got Dwight, <clears throat> Dwight Howard in his Lakers gear. And oh, at least we got a rookie, Jordan Awara. So that's pretty cool to see if they're worth anything. All right, let's see what we got here. Pretty big pack, like I was saying, but I don't know if you can get big, thick cards in these or not. Nope, just the way the pack is. So now you know, thick packs are thick packs. Let's see what we got here. We got Mr. Drew Holiday. Oh, Luca. Always nice getting the Luca card. Yeah. got. Tristan Thompson and his Cavs Uni. Larry Nance and a Cavs Uni. Why don't we get a LeBron Auto and a Cavs Uni? Danny Green. Yeah, like I said, old team pack. Looks like I got something fancy there, so we'll try to pull from the back. I don't know if green refractors are any good at all. Got another Ricky Rubio. Got a theme going on today. Oh, nice. That's a good one to get. So, Prism's probably going to win out just because of that. But, very nice. LaMelo Ball rookie card. Don't care how much it's worth. It's just that kid 
is really good. So, Bobby Portis, that's kind of weird. That was the one that Noah liked. It's like a theme going on over here. We got, oh, there we go. Well, Jalen Smith, he hasn't done much this year, but still a rookie. Pretty cool. So at least they're providing a little value with these expensive packs. Got Herder gone. Nice. Looks like that's a Ja Morant prism there. Pretty sure. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Nice little card to pick up there. A little prism action. And Peyton Pritchard. A green one, too. Uh -huh. Or is that just because it's the Celtics? Hard to say. Take a look. Yeah, so no big autos or anything, but looks like Prism's providing the value. Sometimes those big rack packs from Dynamics for Baseball, you can get a lot of value, but looks like you're still going to stick Prism on the basketball, guys. Thanks again. Well, little did I know how much that Lamella ball actually was worth, so that was a pretty big surprise. But this card right here is selling, as you can see, on eBay for around $200. Um, and, you know, there's some that are less than that. But either way, this was a huge hit. So clearly Prism carries the value between our comparison today. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like button and hit the bell so you get all the alerts for the new videos.